Hey guys, so here I have a brand new candle of the week to review for you burning here downstairs and it's the 14.5 ounce for summertime soda. So this one says, quench your thirst with a crisp bubbly fragrance that features a blend of citrus and vanilla topped off by a hint of cherry. So as you can see, flawless perfection, the burn is amazing. You're witnessing a second day burn. Now I really wanted to film this video tomorrow but a few messages started coming in asking if I have the candle, what do I think, can you do a review? So I figured I'll just post it. I mean, it's doing great. This candle actually uses the wicks that the sweater weather candle uses. So I'm like, it's going to be perfect, flawless sweater weather burn from start to finish in like maybe two or three days. So fingers crossed for an excellent performance with this one. The wicks are not thick, they're not thin, they're somewhere in between, they're the medium sized wick. It's a straw colored, so that's just the best. I live by these wicks. And they were super duper long, so I ended up taking my jumbo fingernail clipper, I trimmed the wicks to about halfway down, and voila! Excellence! So the first day, I lit the candle, I lit it, and I'm like, okay, the flames are super high, no problem. The only problem was that when I lit the wicks, the flame started kicking in, but the wax pool, the wax took forever to melt. So the wax melted and pulled out in about, I'll say, 30 minutes. Long time, right? But the throw kicked in in no time. I'm talking maybe 10 minutes or so. So in all, everything kind of fell together and kicked into gear in about, I'll say, let's just say 40 minutes top for everything to just come together. So that was the first day. Of course, the wicks formed a mushroom top, and I'll show you an overhead view really quickly. Look at those flames, wickedly high flames, dancing oh so nicely. I love that. And for those of you that just don't get it, the wicks form a mushroom top, and that's just a little ball of soot. Look at the wick on the far left. It's like soot that formed at the tip of the wick. So, that's what that is. That's what that means for those of you that just don't know. And when your wicks form mushroom tops, that's usually a good thing because that always helps to ensure that the flames are going to get a lot bigger, thicker, and wider. And when you have flames like that, chances are your wax is going to melt a lot more smoothly, consistently, giving you a better burn and throw overall. And that's exactly what this candle's doing. So, really happy about the performance. And today, which is the second day, everything really kicked into gear for me. I lit the candle and um, the wax melted and pulled out in about 15 minutes. Throw kicked in, same time, so great turnaround time, love it. And the first day I lit the candle for about, let's say, three hours. Today it's going on four, so we're looking really good overall. Really happy about the performance thus far. So that's a performance. Now let's get into the throw. The throw is ridiculous. It lingered all the way upstairs in no time. It's super strong, choking me out, can't move, on the floor, I'm crying, someone help me, get me up, save me. It's so good. I love it. So really happy with BBW's throw. It's, it's excellent. So really, really good. Now let's get into the actual fragrance. As Jay was saying in his video about this candle, you really get a little bit of everything. Like, sometimes I smell this, sometimes I smell that. I go upstairs, I smell that. I come downstairs, I smell this. So, you really get a surprise with this candle. Overall, I think that this candle is not... It's not a slap-in-your-face duplicate or repackage, but it's similar to one candle, and I actually burned that candle a few days ago. It's very similar to pomegranate lemonade, but it has a hint of soda, and, you know, hence the name, summertime soda, hello, but it has that soda, kind of like that fizzy, bubbly, carbonated action going on, so we love that. It's kind of unique with the candle, and it has that, so I'm like, okay, this is going to be great, but it's not, I would compare it to like a Sprite, or a generic version of Sprite, like a knockoff, so you get like that with the pom pomegranate lemonade candle. So you smell that and when you get, it says citrus, so you get like lemon lime, of course 
the lemon hits your nose first, like a strong lemon. It's very sweet, but then it also kind of smells like candy. It's like a lemon head type of a lemon candy. So you get that kind of like that fun, sweet lemon, not artificial, but if you want to call it that, sure. But it's just like a nice sweet lemon. Then the lime comes in shortly after. So it's a, not really a good blend, but for what it's worth, it's basically lemon lime, li lemon first, lime after. And also, um, today I also got like a, um, like an orange push pop, not push pop, like an orange icy, like orange type of like slushy feel. I got that from it too. So I'm like, I'm getting everything from this candle. The vanilla, when I walk upstairs, I get not even a hint, like a pinch of vanilla, like vanilla extract. Very, very just, I hate saying artificial, but it's kind of, sort of, I like it. I do. I really like this candle. So I'm getting, and a lot of people were saying cleaner, like the pe when I first heard about the candle, they were saying, oh, it smells like cleaner. It smells like this, smells like that. I don't get cleaner. I don't get cleaner at all. I get soda. I definitely think it's true to its name. And it's safe to say they nailed it. So I think this is Mass Appeal, the name. And I'm a total sucker for labels at this point. You guys have really like made me love labels. So marketing, labeling, I'm all I'm all for it. So I really think that this candle definitely has mass appeal. And I will say that this candle does smell better as it's lit as opposed to being unlit because when it was unlit, I smelled it. I'm like, oh, okay, it's sort of kind of good. Not really sold, but let me light it, of course, see what happens. And I really, really like it. So overall, this is definitely a repurch. I wouldn't buy it in bulk, you know, four or five maybe, sure, but more than that, I don't think so, just because I don't have any more space. But um, yeah, you get a lot with this candle, a little bit of everything, you know, surprise. You know, you go upstairs, you get something, you come downstairs, you get something. I've only had this candle in the downstairs room and it's definitely um, proven its point as being strong. So great throw, great burn, great performance overall. And yeah, it's a winner. I, I give it a go. I would definitely check it out if it makes, I think it'll make the cut to release nationwide. I mean, I don't know about Dulce. I don't know if that came out yet, but for this one, I wouldn't understand them releasing it and it being so, having so much potential and then just like giving it the boot. Like, no, we don't want to. So I'm hoping for the best with this candle. Again, Get a little bit of pomegranate lemonade with like a splash of that like generic lemon lime sprite type of a fill and it's good no cherry i know yeah hint of cherry i don't get that at all but yeah it's definitely a soda set and i have rambled for about eight minutes that's way too much for me so let me let you guys go thank you so much for listening and watching i really appreciate it it's so cool. So thanks again. God bless you all and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.